Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week. Uh, no, this is for mid-July 2022. Just kidding. Uh, let's see what is going on for you at this time here, Sagittarius. And uh, that'll be that. Um, you have this Palace Athena card here, and you have the Ace of Swords. Uh, the Palace Athena card says, think on it. The Ace of Swords is all about thinking. <laughs> so uh, it could be a very thoughtful time for you, but um, damn. Sagittarius, this is already the best reading I've done for sure. Uh, this for the mid of the middle of the month. Um, Pretty much, I mean, you, you do have some stuff here, Three of Swords, Five of Wands, but uh, big deal. You have the we, the world, the sun, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Chariot, Lovers, Queen of Wands. Really good reading, you know, is what I would say to you. So you have this Palace Athena card. It says, think on it. Definitely a time of thinking. My thing here is that you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Two aces. I love two aces. Two aces is a definite yes to any question that I don't answer. And I mean, you have a lot of yeses here. Um, these two, Chariot, the Sun, the World, these are all yes cards for sure. So, you know, whatever you're thinking, yes, I would. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I would get moving. You have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, in the chariot. I, I almost feel like it's something is like snapping here, you know? I, I feel this in a good way, is what I would say to you. It's almost like a release type of feeling, like a like a bow and arrow is what I'm going for. But you've been like aiming at something for a long time, and I feel like you're finally kind of releasing the arrow here. You have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a victory. You have the Chariot, which is also a victory as well. So you are definitely, but I kind of feel like you're on your way to victory with the Chariot. The Chariot is kind of like a little bit more kind of about exploration. Like something has to be done. You can see that the city that he is from is still behind him. And he's being guided by those two sphinxes here in front of him. And those sphinxes, they're not attached to the Chariot. It represents the fact that he like trusts that the universe knows what's best and is guiding him. So I kind of feel like that trust is important. He also uses like as above, so below. He has stars here and then moons on his shoulders. This represents as above, so below energy. Basically, you know, he uses his powers of manifestation to get what he wants. He's also not afraid to create. He has like the same want that the magician is holding here. <laughs> if I can get my finger in the right position, there you go. He's got the same wand as the magician. So I kind of feel like it's time of creation for you here, Sag. And here you go. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Like a big opportunity is coming in for you. I feel like it could be after a sacrifice. And I say that because Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, letting something go. And then the world, which could also be letting something go. Pretty much everyone's reading has been, has been um, very similar. And again, I like to remind people that, you know, it's kind of like the time that we're in. We basically have, I don't know, I'm doing this video. I don't even know what today is. Um, today is the 17th of July when I'm doing this reading. We basically have two weeks where before, like, where I really feel we kind of need to make some decisions in the next two weeks for the rest of the year. Then <laughs> these decisions on are on whether to stay or go in some situation, clearly for you here at the top of the reading. Um, this could involve moving as well, chariot, world, for sure. Um, you know, so I feel like that's one choice we all have to make. And this includes like staying or going in friendships, allowing people into our life, not allowing certain people into our life staying in a business or a job that you love or you don't love. And again, I would listen to your heart on how you feel um, about these things to make these decisions. You have this Spirit of the River card. It says movement towards adventure. There you go. We see this everywhere here. Chariot, like I said, the world. So the Queen of Wands even can be a card of adventure. Five of Wands is a card I call Indiana Jones. I say that because to me, it represents going on some sort of crazy adventure to get some treasure. So you're definitely opening up to a new adventure at this time with this card. Now, you have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun. The Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, but it is temporary. The other thing about the Three of Swords is that it's about forgiveness. And I pretty much feel like all of us have something that we need to forgive. Those swords are in your own heart. To pull them out with the Three of Swords, we have to forgive our either ourselves, a past situation, a person. You know, it's going to be different for all of you. But it is a card of, like, needing to forgive. But, no, not necessarily forget, but needing to forgive anything that has happened in your life or any experiences um, that you have had. The Queen of Wands, I feel like, is your energy. You're showing up in the center position. In the center position in nine-card spread is the most important position in the nine-card spread. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness coming in for you, a lot of success as well with the Queen of Wands. You know, she's all about being bold, being assertive, really going for something. And again, pretty much everyone 
has had that energy where it's like we really need to go for the things that we want at this time because I don't want to say that there isn't help because I feel like there's a ton of help if we ask for it <laughs> number one but what I mean by there isn't help is it's like we you know I feel the universe is trying to encourage us to do things that make us independent but again that doesn't mean you have to do things on your own uh, and it doesn't mean you can't ask for help there's like a difference here but the things that we're doing are probably giving us more strength is maybe a better way to put it you have the sun so even if you're letting something go i feel like there's a lot of happiness a lot of joy a lot of abundance coming in for you i do feel you could like let out a little bit more playfulness you can see here that there's this wall behind this little child. The wall on the sun represents the wall that we all build up kind of against our inner child. And, and it, the sun sometimes I feel reminds us to be more childlike, to ask more questions, to be more curious, to have more fun, to realize that this is the, the game of life, right? And I feel like we all take it too seriously. I definitely do, right? And I'm always reminding myself that things that you know I thought were super serious years ago just aren't serious now, right? And so I feel like we can all be a little bit more playful, be a little bit more joyful, all those things. You have this sacred reverence card, and I feel that for some of you, you're clearly accomplishing something that is like that you hold sacred. You know, this card is about something that you revere, something that you feel is very good for you or very important to you. And it could be anything with the world card. So you have the world, the lovers, and the five of wands. I feel like this is what you're accomplishing. The world, whatever the world is for you. The world is like some sort of big accomplishment, something that makes you happy, something that you've been trying to accomplish for a very long period of time. And I feel that you could be having a big accomplishment here. But I would say with the five of wands, you know, five of wands, again, is like a card I call Indiana Jones. It is a card of like needing to go through something, needing to experience something, needing to kind of go through, not really write a passage, but needing to kind of um, face some fears to be more successful. And that's what I feel like you have to do here. The lovers uh, definitely could be love. I don't really see this as a love reading. You don't have a lot of love stuff here except for the lovers. Definitely could be love. But what I would say is that the lovers is about being at a crossroads, having a choice to make. And again, this is true for everyone right now. Again, I've been saying since April, I could probably just do one reading for all 12 signs every single week, every single month. <laughs> because, you know, we're just, you know, like I explained to someone else earlier, um, you know, I feel like we're at this energetic choke point where it's like being, you know, the energy is kind of being pushed to kind of like a point. And that's what we're all kind of like at the tip, right? And we're all about to hopefully burst out into something new. But again, I feel like everybody's experiencing very similar energies right now. So uh, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands. Damn, love it. I love all these Aces for you, Sagittarius. Definitely some positive new beginnings coming in for you here. Um, I feel like creativity is very important at this time. And again, anything, you know, um, you know what I would say here, with the world, lovers, five of wands, I'm getting something about like anything that could help other people is going to be very beneficial for you. Like if you're looking for a business, like, I don't think you directly have to help people, but, you know, if you could inspire people with the Ace of Wands, if you could, you know, do something that gets people taking action or anything like that, if you're thinking about starting a business or a YouTube channel or anything like that, I would be, like, thinking, you know, how can I make sure that this is going to benefit the most people? And I feel if you do that, you're going to be very successful. That's what's popping into my head. I don't, clearly, Three Aces, major new beginning coming in for you. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords. There you go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Four Aces, even though basically, you know, this is the same thing. Um, I kind of feel like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, whatever you're thinking about doing, I would do it with the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be successful. If you're thinking about starting a business, get started. If you're thinking now, right now, right? Don't wait until August when it's too late. I would get moving today. Do what you can with what you got. As long as you start a little bit, that's all that matters, right? Uh, same thing with love and everything else. Uh, with the chariot, you have the justice card. Mm, I, I am getting waiting for justice, if I'm being honest. Those are the words that are popping into my head. So some of you maybe have been waiting for justice in some area of your life, or you are, you know, it's like you've been waiting for something to come through, I feel. I also feel that something is coming through for you. It's just not here yet, which is weird. The justice card also says if you're not sure what decision to make with the chariot, the lovers, Justice is cause and effect. It says put a little bit of energy into something. If it works, keep moving in that direction. If it doesn't work, stop and change direction. With the Three of Swords, you have the Hierophant. 
definitely represents learning a learning period. So again, maybe you've been learning through heartbreak or sadness. Some of you could be experiencing a divorce as well. Again, I love the Ace of Swords, very good card, but it is a card of sacrifice. It does represent, you know, could represent a sacrifice. Also, the sword is above the mountains here. It represents the fact that you will always be able to overcome your obstacles, but the mountains are still there. You know, the obstacles still exist. We will never live a life probably here, on, not at, at least not here on earth, right? Where there are no obstacles. There will always be things that force us to grow. But again, I always like to remind people that again, if we didn't have obstacles, we wouldn't grow. We wouldn't, it's kind of like lifting weights. If you lift the same amount of weight every single day, you're only gonna reach a certain point. You have to get heavier and heavier and heavier. You have to increase the obstacles, right? So that you get stronger. With the Queen of Wands here, you have the Tower. And the Tower showing up has been showing up a lot again. I feel like the Tower is just talking about, you know, the global Tower moments that we could be experiencing. You have a crown at the top of the Ace of Swords. Normally there's a crown falling off of the Tower here to the Five of Wands. Like I said, um, months ago, I, I posted my prediction that I was right about, about world leaders stepping down and multiple things happening. We're, this is only going to keep increasing, by the way. There's only going to be more happening in the world where we see kind of established structure breaking down. And to me, it's just, I don't know, the astrology, to me, it's pretty obvious, <laughs> is what I would say. Um, I see it in the astrology, and I think it's just going to speed up, and we're going to see more and more things happen. With the sun, you have the five of pentacles. Every single person has had the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is super important that we do not call attention to our weaknesses. It's like, look at the news, do the opposite. Actually, don't watch the news, but do the opposite of whatever the news is telling you to, what, what to do, right? Right now, the news is trying to tell you, crap your pants, there's no money, the, the gas prices are super high, and all this other stuff is happening. Like, fear, 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 right? So I would do the opposite, because that's what everybody's doing. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses, right? If we do the opposite and we make their reality a false reality, then our reality becomes real. That's what we need to do right now. We need to make their reality, their shitty reality, whatever it is, right? All about control, fear, illusions, all this stuff, right? We need to make their reality the false reality. So we need to not call attention to our weaknesses and do what we can with what we got, which is what I've been saying all week. Uh, with the world, you have the Two of Cups, perfect match. Mm, it definitely could be love coming in for you. It feels more like in the future. This is your future position. This is where all the love is showing up. So there could be a person coming in for you. It could be a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. could be any sign, general reading, right? You have Cancer here. You have Taurus. Um, you have Leo, Gemini, Scorpio. I already said that. But, you know, it could be any sign, general reading. Two of Cups is a perfect match. I would also say you're probably just resonating more with yourself. Two of Cups is you and your higher self. And so when you resonate more with your higher self, then you probably step into this new world. With the Lovers, you have the Five of Swords. Uh, we already talked about this with the Three of Swords. Some of you could be going through a breakup or a separation. Um, again, like I've been saying for months, literally, I feel a lot of us could be making decisions that kind of like make us a little bit sad, but it's probably also the right decision. You know, like I, um, you know, I, I don't know, I can think of a million examples, right? There are where maybe you're making a decision to leave something behind, but you're going towards something so much greater. You can still be sad about that and want to make the change. And I feel that for you. With the five of wands, here you go, three of swords. Again, I would be careful of like watching the news here. <clears throat> I would be careful about, um, you know, I would be careful with your emotions as well. You have this river card. I, I do feel astrologically as well that we really need to protect our emotions um, because, you know, they could be putting stuff on the news that gets everybody all fired up and all excited. And maybe it's just not true, um, you know, because of Neptune and Pisces. I don't believe a goddamn thing with Neptune and Pisces, right? To me, anything I hear, I, I like I have no reaction to it until the facts come out because Neptune and Pisces is a goddamn liar, plain and simple, Sagittarius, and um, you know that's all I have to say about that. But uh, let's see. I just want to pull a final outcome for you if we can get one. Uh, you have the devil. Everybody's had the devil as well. Um, and, and anybody who I've pulled an extra row for, um, I can't remember who it was, but there were multiple, has had the devil in the last row. I would be careful of those baser instincts. The devil, the, the people on the traditional devil have horns. And it kind of represents those baser, like, you know, root chakra, whatever you want to call it, type instincts where you just have a reaction. Again, I would be careful of that. Mars retrograde later on this year. No reactions. Middle row, Ten of Pentacles. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. 
Ten of Pentacles, success. Um, building and leaving a legacy. Building, you know, long-term success as well. Everybody, I believe, has the opportunity to do this. I, you know, again, they keep, you know, how years ago, everybody was talking about the 1%, the 1%, the 1% as far as wealth is concerned. Really, I believe in the future, it's gonna be like the 60%. And you might be saying, well, 40%, that's still bad that there's 40% of poverty, but it's really not like that. It's probably like 40% just want want to live in the woods <laughs> of Alaska or something like that and don't want to deal with money at all, period. So, you know, really, it's like, I believe that we're entering into a period of greater wealth, but we kind of have to go through what we're going through to get there, right? Uh, bottom row, Ten of Swords. There's definitely something, There, there is a permanent loss. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Amazing reading, but like with everyone else, I feel like there are permanent losses that we are all going to experience. And I, like, I don't want to scare anyone. I feel really we're opening up to a greater opportunity. But pretty interesting reading here, Sagittarius. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.